Our brain is made up of numerous tiny little cells known as neurons, the structural and functional units of our nervous system. These neurons require a few chemicals to carry out their functions in everyday life, which are also called neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters are also called chemical messengers in our body, made up of amino acids, monoamines, and peptides. Monoamines are synthesized by altering a single amino acid. Serotonin is a monoamine neurotransmitter also known as 5-hydroxytryptamine or 5-HT and it also has hormonal effects in our body. Our gut contains the majority of the serotonin in our body. The cells lining our gastrointestinal system contain about 90% of our body's serotonin supply. It's released into our blood circulation and absorbed by platelets. Whereas, our brain only produces 10% of the total serotonin. Serotonin is known to be involved in many bodily functions, ranging from regulating mood to digesting food. Let's first understand how serotonin helps in regulation of mood. Your mood is controlled by serotonin in your brain. It is frequently referred to be your body's inborn feel-good chemical. You feel more emotionally secure, happier, calmer, and more emotionally focused when serotonin levels are normal. Depression and low serotonin levels are related. Numerous drugs prescribed to treat anxiety, sadness, and other mood disorders frequently work to raise the brain's serotonin levels. Now let's understand how serotonin helps in digestion of food. The majority of the serotonin in your body is found in your GI tract, where it aids in gut health and regulates bowel movements. Your gut can release more serotonin, which can hasten digestion and help your body get rid of irritating foods and harmful items. Additionally, serotonin helps you feel fuller after meals. Nausea is triggered when serotonin is released into your gut faster than it can be digested. The chemical message is received by your brain, which you perceive as nausea. Many drugs used to reduce feelings of nausea and vomiting target specific serotonin receptors in your brain. Your quality of sleep is influenced by the neurotransmitter serotonin and dopamine that is, how well and how long you sleep. In order to create melatonin, a hormone that controls your sleep-wake cycle, your brain also needs serotonin. Your blood's platelets release serotonin to aid in wound healing. Arterioles, the smallest blood veins, also narrow as a result of the condition, slowing blood flow and promoting the formation of clots. This step in the healing process of a wound is crucial. Serotonin levels may play a role in the density of your bones. High levels of serotonin in your gut may play a role in making bones weak, which can lead to bone fractures and osteoporosis. Serotonin also plays a role, together with the neurotransmitter dopamine, in your desire for sex. Numerous health disorders linked to low serotonin levels, depression and other emotional issues, anxiety, issues with sleep, digestive issues, suicidal tendencies, obsessive-compulsive disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, and phobias. A low serotonin level usually has more than one cause. Technically, serotonin levels are low because your body isn't producing enough serotonin, or your body isn't effectively using it. This can happen if you don't have enough serotonin receptors or the receptors aren't working as they should. Ways to increase serotonin levels include eating more tryptophan-containing foods, getting more sunlight, taking certain supplements and getting more exercise and lowering your stress level. Many foods naturally contain tryptophan, the amino acid from which serotonin is made. You can try increasing your serotonin level by eating tryptophan-containing foods, such as salmon, eggs, cheese, turkey, tofu, pineapples, nuts, oats and seeds. Serotonin syndrome is a condition that happens when serotonin levels are increased too much. It usually happens if you increase the dose of a medication known to increase serotonin levels or take another drug known to increase serotonin. Serotonin syndrome can be fatal if it's severe and not caught early and treated quickly. Dopamine and serotonin are both neurotransmitters. Sometimes these neurotransmitters work together to stay in a careful chemical balance in your body. Sometimes an imbalance leads to an overproduction of the other neurotransmitter. Having too much or too little of either can cause physical and psychological problems. Please let us know if you are concerned about any of these conditions. And do not forget to subscribe and support us. Thank you.